you know that, there is a huge number of animals in our environment. The animals need to be categorized into groups, based on a certain criterion, in order to study about this animal world of a huge number of species. You may remember that, in grade 7, you learn of animals, based on the presence or absence of a vertebral column, or backbone. We will further learn about animal classification in this lesson. First we will see, what is known as animal classification. Categorizing animals, by considering their common features, is known as animal classification. We can classify animals, based on different criteria. Animals can also be classified into two groups, based on the presence, or absence of a backbone, or vertebral column. Here are some pictures of some animals, living in the environment. Observe these pictures carefully. Among these animals, Sardinella, Cat, Parrot, and Fox, are animals, which have a backbone. Spider, Millipede, Earthworm, and Butterfly, are animals, which haven't a backbone. The animals without a backbone, or vertebral column, are known as invertebrates. The animals with a backbone, or vertebral column, are known as vertebrates. We will further learn about invertebrates, and vertebrates in the upcoming lessons. In this lesson, we studied about Animal classification, and The categorization of animals into two main groups as The animals with a backbone, or vertebral column, as vertebrates And the animals without a backbone, or vertebral column, as invertebrates You may remember, we previously learnt that, animals are categorized into groups, based on their common features, in order to study about this animal world of a huge number of species. You might also remember that, animals are divided into two main groups, the animals with a backbone, or vertebral column as vertebrates, while the animals without a backbone, or vertebral column as invertebrates. Now, we will further study about the animals, without a backbone, or vertebral column, that means invertebrates. The invertebrates have been categorized in a systematic way, by considering their common features. Among them, we will discuss about four main groups in this lesson. They are, Cnidaria, Annelida, Mollusca, and Arthropoda. From these four groups of invertebrates, we will first study about the Cnidaria group. Cnidarians are predators which live in water. Hydra, coral polyps, sea anemone, and jellyfish are examples for animals who belong to the Cnidaria group. Now we will study about the common features of animals in the Cnidaria group. Cnidarian body shows a radial symmetry. The radial symmetry is defined as that the body of a certain organism can be divided into two similar halves by passing a plane at any central axis through the center of the body. There are two forms in Cnidarians, as polyps and medusa. Polyps are fixed to a substrate and lead a sedentary life, while medusa are free swimming organisms. Hydra belongs to the form of polyps. This means, Hydra leads a sedentary life. Jellyfish belongs to the form of medusa. Cnidarians cripple small creatures, secreting toxic substances from special organelles on the tentacles. These special organelles are known as, cnidocytes. Coral reefs are built up by the coral polyps, which belong to the Cnidaria group. Let's study about another invertebrate group, Annelida group. Annelids successfully live in three types of environments namely, marine, freshwater, and terrestrial environments. Earthworm, leech, and nereus 
can be given as examples for animals, belong to the Anilida group. Now we will study about, the common features of animals in the Anilida group. The body of the annelids, is bilaterally symmetrical. The bilateral symmetry is defined, as that the body of a certain organism, can be divided into two similar halves along the central axis of the body. Further, their body is vermiform. The body of the annelids, divided into segments. Therefore, animals of the Annelida group, are known as segmented worms. We will now study about, another invertebrate group, mollusca group. Mollusks successfully live in three types of environments namely, terrestrial, marine, and freshwater environments. Snail. Bivalve. Chitin. Slug. Cuttlefish. And octopus, can be given as examples for animals, belong to the mollusca group. Now we will find out the common features of animals in the mollusca group. The body of mollusca, is bilaterally symmetrical. They are soft-bodied animals. Mollusks possess a muscular foot. They possess a skin, moistened with mucus. Also, some mollusks bear shells. We will now study about another invertebrate group, arthropoda group. Arthropodas, successfully live in terrestrial, as well as in aquatic environments. Arthropoda is the group on earth to which the highest number of animals belongs. Butterfly, scorpion, centipede, and prawn, can be given as some examples of animals, belong to the arthropoda group. We will study about the common features of animals in the arthropoda group. The body of arthropoda animals, is bilaterally symmetrical. Their body possesses an external skeleton. Some species possess wings. The body of arthropoda, is externally segmented. They also possess jointed appendages. In this lesson, we studied about that. The animals without a backbone, or vertebral column, are known as invertebrates. Invertebrates are divided into four groups as, Cnidaria, Annelida, Mollusca, and Arthropoda, based on their common features and the common features of the animals of those groups. Observe different animals in your surrounding environment. You learned in the previous lesson, that there are animals without a backbone, whom known as invertebrates. Also, there are animals with a backbone, whom known as vertebrates. In this lesson, we will further study about vertebrates. The animals with a backbone, or vertebral column, are known as vertebrates. They are scientifically classified into five groups, by using their common features. They are Pisces, Amphibia, Reptilia, Aves, and Mammalia. For further study, click the corresponding subject area. Fish belong to the group of Pisces. They are well adapted to live in the aquatic environment. Fish such as seer, skate, shark, bluefin tuna, seahorse, sprat, can be given as examples for animals, belong to the Pisces group. Now, we will study about common features of the animals of the Pisces group. They possess a body, that is invariably well streamlined, to help them to swim in water. The bodies of Pisces group animals, are covered with scales. The fins are used to swim through water and, to balance body while swimming. Their respiratory organs are gills. Fish have eyes, without eyelids. Amphibians belong to this group. They are able to live in both, terrestrial, and aquatic environments. 
Amphibians spend a part of their life cycle in water. Frog, toad, salamander, and ichthyophis can be given as examples for animals belong to amphibians or the amphibia group. We will now study about common features of animals of the amphibia group. These animals undergo metamorphosis. This means that, they exhibit different external appearances, at different stages of the life cycle. Animals of amphibia group possess a glandular, thin, and moist skin, without scales. Most amphibians use limbs for locomotion. Respiration is carried out by lungs, wet skin, or mouth. Reptiles belong to this group. They are well adapted for the terrestrial environment. Tortoise, turtle, cobra, python, viper, lizard, monitor, and iguana can be given as examples for animals belong to the reptilia group. We will now study about the common features of animals of the reptilia group. Reptiles possess dry skins with scales. No glands are present in the skin in reptiles. Reptiles use limbs for locomotion, but some reptiles are limbless, and therefore they move by creeping. The animals of the reptilia group possess lungs for breathing. This is the group of birds. They are well adapted for flying. Parrot crow, swan, and stork can be given as examples for animals belong to the aves group. There are also some birds which cannot fly. Ostrich, penguin, kiwi, rhea, emu, and cassowary are some examples. We will now study about the common features of animals of the aves group. They possess a streamlined body, to fly through the air. They also possess a skin, covered with feathers. Limbs are used for locomotion, and the forelimbs are adapted as wings. They do not have teeth, but they have beaks which are adapted according to their feeding style. The animals of the Arves group, possess lungs for breathing. Mammals or, the animals feed on mother's milk, belong to the mammalia group. Human. Rat. Loris. Orangutan. Gorilla. Whale. Dolphin. Stag. Deer, and. Monkey, can be given as examples for animals, belong to the mammalia group. We will now study about the common features of animals of the mammalia group. They possess a skin covered with hair. Also, they have milk producing glands. Mammal skin has sweat glands, and sebaceous glands. They possess external ears. Mammals use lungs for breathing. After learning this lesson, you can get it clear that, there is a vast diversity among animals, in our surrounding environment. This diversity can be well understood, by visiting places like zoos, wild reserves, and sanctuaries. All these animal species are adapted to a certain environment. They contribute immensely, to the survival of the environment. In this lesson, we studied about main vertebrate groups and common features of each vertebrate group.